In this video, we will see how change in temperature and pressure will affect volumetric flow rate. So in this scenario, we have an ideal gas. And so with ideal gas, we know that it's going to be PV is equal to NRT. But in our case, we have two streams. This is stream 1 and this is stream 2. Stream 1 is our input stream and stream 2 is our output stream. So we have P1, V1, and we have T1. In both cases, N is the same number, it doesn't change. Now we have also P2, V2, and this will equal N1 because they're the same number. And so if you notice, there is three things that are different, P, V, and T. So we can rearrange what we have a bit by saying that this side right here, meaning P2, V2, we can just divide this side by this and form a proportion, P1, V1. And we do the same for the other side. So P2, V2 was this, so we will do this side here, N1, R, T2, divided by this, N1, R, T1. And if you notice, N1 is here, cancels, cancels, R, cancels, cancels. So we have a relationship, P2 times V2, divided by P1 times V1, is equal to T2 divided by T1. We want to know in this problem, what is V2? And we can do so by rearranging what we have here. So if we multiply this numerator, T2, by this denominator, we would get P2, V2 is equal to uh, T2 times P1 times V1 divided by T1. All I'm doing right here is rearranging what we have from this side to this side. And we just want to get V2. So I will divide by P2. So we will have V2 is equal to T2 times P1 times V1 divided by T1 times P2. And now we're really close in solving V2. So V2 will equal, what is T2? T2 was 500. But whenever we, we deal with these kind of problems, we want to do absolute. We want an absolute scale, meaning we want to use Kelvin. If we have Celsius, you would want to convert to Kelvin. But in our case, we have Fahrenheit, so we would convert from Fahrenheit to Rankin, which is an absolute scale. And with Rankin, what we need to do here is add 459.67. So T2 would be 500 plus 459.67, this would be in Rankin, divided by, we can do T1, same exact idea, you have 50, so you do 50 plus 459.67 Rankin. So this right here is T2 divided by T1. Next we can do P1 divided by P2. P1 is two atmospheres. So 2 atm divided by P2. P2 is 5 atmosphere. So we have T2 times P1 divided by T1 times P2. Finally, we multiply by V1. V1 is 20 feet cubed. So we have 20 feet cubed. And if you notice, essentially Rankin, Rankin cancels, atmosphere, atmosphere cancel, and all we have left is feet cubed. So V2, the answer, will be in the unit of feet cubed. And so this right here would equal 15.06 feet cubed. And that's all we need to do for this problem.